Hello, good afternoon. A huge police operation is underway in Istanbul to find a gunman who shot dead 39 people at a nightclub. The man opened fire at the Reina club around half past one in the morning. Dozens of injured remain in hospital. Fifteen foreigners from Israel, Saudi Arabia and Morocco were among the dead. Our Turkey correspondent Selim Gerrit has just sent this report. One of the most famous nightclubs in Istanbul. Reyna is packed with a jubilant crowd, ready to welcome the new year. They are counting down to what they hope will be a fresh new start. But then, this happens. A man armed with a long-barreled weapon opens fire outside the venue. He kills a policeman and another civilian as he rushes his way in. The club immediately turns into a scene of a massacre as the attacker fires on the people partying inside. Dozens are killed and wounded, survivors still in shock of what they have been through. I had my back turned. My husband suddenly told me to get on the floor. A man ran inside. Two or three people started firing. Then there was this fog. I fainted at that moment until special forces took us out of there. They shot randomly. There were bodies lying on the floor. There has been no immediate claim of responsibility for the attack, and authorities did not name any suspects. This man was a security guard at the club last night. He said he heard gunfire and ran away. Everyone is nervous at the moment, he said. The attacker still remains at large. The security forces say the assailant was alone, rather than there being many attackers. He was wearing a jacket and trousers when he opened fire but there's separate information that he tried to leave wearing a different set of clothes. The nightclub area remained sealed off this morning. Heavily armed police blocked the street leading to Reiner Club. Crime scene investigators were inside searching for evidence. This is as close as we can get to the scene of the attack that shook Istanbul last night. In a span of 18 months, more than 500 people have been killed in this country in similar attacks. Now, civilians got hit on a night of hope and joy. This already feels like it is going to be yet another difficult year for this country. Turkey faces the Islamic State threat, a renewed conflict with the Kurdish rebels in the southeast and across the border in Syria and Iraq. And big cities like Istanbul feel increasingly vulnerable these days. And Selim joins us now from outside a hospital in Istanbul where some of the victims are being treated. Selim, what's the latest on the security operation and the manhunt? The attacker is still at large and the hunt for him still is carried out in several districts in Istanbul after uh, reports of suspicious people uh, came through. Uh, I am at one of the hospitals and there are almost 70 people injured, four of which are in critical condition. The death toll is still at 39, but of course the fear is the death toll could rise. Uh, the Prime Minister has spoken and said no nation is immune to such terror attacks, but Istanbul, having witnessed at an attack only three weeks ago, feels increasingly edgy. Celine, thanks very much. Thank you.